What's up fellow geeks, today we have the Samsung Galaxy A14 with us and it's the most affordable Galaxy phone in Samsung's lineup. With a battery they're saying can last 2 days. We are going to be putting this through the gaming gauntlet, Genshin Impact, PUBG Mobile, Call of Duty Mobile and Diablo Immortal. Performance wise, the Samsung Galaxy A14 that we are using has an octa-core, 6 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage and a Mali G57MC2 for its GPU. All of this plays out on a 6.6 inch Full HD Plus display with a max refresh rate of 90Hz and it's powered by a 5000mAh battery. So before we run the test, let's do a baseline of the temperatures of the front and the back of the phone. So we are looking at about 28 degrees on the front so far. Let's check that again. 27, 28, 28.4, the bottom is around 32, 31, interesting. And on the back, 30 degrees on here. Still 30 degrees on the back. Interesting. All right. Oh, 33 on the top. Oh, wow, that's, is it 32 here? Oh yeah, it is. It's going to be. So with that, let's just get into the first game, Genshin. All right, so we are currently in Mondstadt. Let's just open up the settings real quick and see what we have going on and see. We set everything to the highest. We are pushing this phone quite a bit actually. Uh, 60 FPS, everything has been turned on, so we are covered in this section. Not the most powerful phone, but it definitely does work so far. Let's just move around a little bit on here before you head over to Inazuma. And as you can see, it actually plays out all right ish. A couple of, a lot of area drops actually. So it'd be quite interesting to see how this plays out in the combat sections. So let's just head over to Inazuma. Alright, so before we do the walkthrough in Azuma, let's just look at how our characters look like. Uh, we have Kamisato over here, and let's just zoom in and see how she looks like. She looks really good in this. Actually, honestly, there isn't much of an issue when it comes to how good the game looks like on the phone. This HD Plus display is actually doing the work right now. Obviously, you know, it's a lot of frame rate drops here and there. As you can see, as you move around. But it looks really good still. There is some sort of stability. But other than that, you know, you just expect a lot of frame rate drops. But she looks great. And so does the scenery around her as well. The physics of all of the Sakuras falling. And let's just go down and see how this fares like oh, when we go into the town. And let's just keep moving and just try. Oh, that, as you can see, there is a lot of frame rate drops going on right now. A lot of things aren't really loading up properly ish, if you can tell. Alright, I think you guys get the idea that, you know, this phone really kind of handle the highest of settings. Again, this, everything's set on high right now. And I think if you set the settings to like, say, low or medium, I think it will be able to handle it much better and smoother than in what it is right now. So let's just move on to some exploration and maybe some combat outside in the field. Alright, so let's just go out and explore a little bit. If we can get into a fight, we should get into a fight because I really, I really do want to get into a fight. And let's see. Oh, never mind. We got one. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Look at that. Alright, let's ult real quick. Let's see how it looks like. So as you can see, the phone really doesn't do its alties and special attacks. Any kind of justice on the high settings without it breaking frames by like what, 7 FPS, 6 FPS from what I'm seeing right now. And let's just get into another fight here real quick and just, yeah, look at that. But what I will say about the phone so far is that it has a really good size. You have a lot of real estate to put your hands around, so that's great. As you can see, not the smoothest. I can't really land a lot of hits because I can't exactly see where I'm going half the time. Alright, and that's one fight. And as you can see, you know, it has been breaking down a lot. So let's see how it fares in the Spiral Abyss. So as you can see, the phone really doesn't do the game that much justice on the... So as you can see, the phone really doesn't do the game any kind of justice on the highest of settings. And I really recommend you guys, if you are planning on getting this phone, stick to the medium or lows. This is quite difficult to play with. Let's go to the Spiral Abyss. Alright, so before we head into the Abyss, let's just check temperatures real quick. 
it is heating up a little bit so let's just check it out 38 degrees it's actually doing a lot better than I expect much better than the Blackjack 5 actually even for a budget phone wow yeah 39, 38 not doing too, doing okay, doing okay actually wow so it does get heat management right that is surprising Alright, 41, 40, yeah, that's, oh, that's quite surprising, actually, wow, okay. Oh. Alright, ulti. Alright. Oh. Oh, yeah, that is very, very, that's a lot of premium drops right there. Oh, get away. But actually, you know what? On the Spiral Abyss, the phone is actually handling itself pretty well so far. A lot better than I expected. It's not as laggy as the open world, actually. Alright, okay. Let's just go for one more round and see how this performs before we hit the final temperature check and close in on Genshin. Oh, uh, coming south is a real hot carry. Oh boy, that was bad. Nice. Last guy. Okay, now on the other side. So, so far, performance is surprisingly, it's surprisingly got better compared to the open world. I think it's because of the open world and the rendering and whatnot. But Abyss Wise is actually doing pretty okay. I can't really get the timing right on this thing. It's actually really hard to play with this much lag, and also I have a, I have terrible team sense when it comes to competition. Oh boy. We're almost there, and okay, finally got them all. Oof, okay, that's okay, that's a lot. All right, so that's it. Final temperature check, and let's see what where we at right now. Ninety-two percent, eight percent down from the initial hundred. Temperature wise, we are at 39 degrees. Yeah, that's understandable. 38 degrees, 36, 37. It's not even hitting 40 right now, actually. It has gone down a little bit. Let's check the back. And yeah, it's 40 at the back. Here, 41, almost 42, I think. Nothing else. And let's see, further down, 35. It's barely 40 in this region. So yeah, A14 handles, handles itself pretty well when it comes to the Abyss, but I think with open areas, obviously with rendering and everything, you guys are better off playing Genshin on the lower or medium graphical settings. So with that, yes, so, right. So with that, let's move on to the next game, PUBG Mobile. All right, so we're in PUBG right now. Let's check the settings. And so far it looks pretty smooth, I guess. And I hope it stays that way. Uh, let's go into the settings real quick. Okay, so let's do a temperature check real quick before we head into the game. 37 degrees, it has gone down a little bit. We just finished playing Genshin Impact. So it has gone down a bit from just now, from 41-ish, 40 degrees to about 37-ish. That's all right in my books. 35-ish on this side and at the back. We are currently at 39 degrees on the top half and as you go down the bottom it gets progressively lower so yeah it's actually doing pretty much fine right now it's comfortable to touch all right so we're in the settings right now i don't think we can go higher than hd yeah as you can see ultra hd no nah, and yeah definitely not uhd and uh frame rates on high 
style is on classic right now and the aliasing obviously four times still not there but two times it's there and shadows enabled everything is on so basically this is the highest we can go with the a14 so with that let's just get into the game and see how this works out it's handling itself pretty all right a couple of frame drops here and there again we are playing on whatever highest setting we can with the a14 Good for you. So let's just see how the game runs. And the C130 is looking good. Look at that. Actually, it's actually performing a lot better than Genshin. So far. Actually, it's performing a lot better than Genshin so far. I mean, that's pretty much off the bat. Now. Okay, so off the bat, it is performing a lot better than Genshin so far. Let's see where our guy wants to go. Where do you want to go? You can go to the Sanya if you want. Uh, I don't know if he wants to drop down. Okay. Oh, he does want to drop down. Okay, cool. So, we'll see how this pans out. But while we are here, we might also talk about how comfortable the phone is so far. And I'll say that it has a very good size. And, I mean, I have huge hands again. So, you know, my pinky still has somewhere to go-ish at the bottom. And the top feels alright. It's just that the power the volume buttons over here so it will get in the way of things but other than that this thing is fine it even has a headphone jack at the bottom if you guys want to put your headphones there of course you know it will obstruct some stuff here it will obstruct your hand plate on here so just go through wireless earbuds for audio and let's just make our Watch drop out. oh we got a squat that's really close to us let's just hit down here all right we are on the ground let's keep moving Okay, can I get things quick enough? I can, I guess. So far, everything's working out fine. Picked it up, picked it up. Obviously, you have a much better time playing PUBG Mobile because, you know, it's not graphically intensive as compared to Genshin Impact. But, you know, it's it's still a pretty good phone, the A14 so far. Even at its price, especially at its price point, this thing is actually handling games pretty well so far. Besides Genshin, but again, we are playing everything on the highest graphical settings that the games allow the hardware to. So, with, with all things considered, it's actually doing pretty well. Alright, so far, so good. Oh, where did those shots come from? Those key, those were very close. Watch out. Oh, second floor. Okay. Let's hit it and try to get this guy. Is that green? Oh, green is down and shit. Oh, green is dead. Oh man, that's bad. That's bad, right? Yeah, that's bad. Let's just try to hunt down those guys. Try to get some revenge for him. I believe he's in that restaurant over there. Try to get a jump on these guys. You can engage with another squad. What's oh, you? That's just one guy for now. Okay, they're around me right now, but let's just double back. Oh boy, you. All right, he's down. Nice. So yeah, combat so far. Like I said, you know, if you guys can properly adjust and assign your buttons properly, I guess you guys will have a much better time than I am. I'm running the default right now. Someone's running up on me, I believe. No, oh, yep, there's one guy right there. So, uh, things didn't go to the plan, and I'm dead now. None of my guys are obviously going to come and save me, but for what it's worth, PUBG Mobile has been pretty fun so far on the A14, and let's do a temperature check real quick. Um, it is 38 degrees. Oh, so it has kind of stayed at the original temperature that we had 
close to the original temperature we had after we got off from Genshin. So let's just see this and oh, 34 ish. Alright. Okay. Didn't look too bad. And let's check the back. 39. Okay. Yeah, let's keep not doing not too bad. Alright. Let's check the bottom real quick, sorry. 35, 34. Okay, we're doing pretty well. Right. We're doing alright. The 5G Mobile is doing pretty well so far. We have everything on the highest settings that we are able to get out of this phone and you know that the phone allows us to. So with that, let's move on to our next game, Call of Duty Mobile. But before that, supplies. here's a message from our sponsor. This video is brought to you by MSI. Meet the Summit E16 Flip, featuring the latest 12th gen Intel Core i7 processor, RTX 30 series graphics, and a 16 inch Quad HD Plus touchscreen panel with a 360 degree hinge. It lets you unleash maximum productivity with up to 11 hours of battery life at just 2 kilograms. The Summit E16 Flip offers unprecedented performance and functionality, allowing you to work and play anywhere, anytime. Alright, so right off PUBG Mobile, we are in Call of Duty Mobile right now. Let's check temperatures real quick before we get in. We are currently at 86%. 86% right there. So let's check temperatures real quick before we head into a match. 38 degrees down here, 37 ish, 36. And 35 ish, 34. Not too bad. Let's check the back. Alright, 34, 38. We're actually doing pretty alright. Top part's around like 39 ish, somewhere around there. But other than that, we are doing fine. Alright. So, let's go into settings. Alright, graphics. And we are. Okay, we only have medium enabled for graphic quality. Uh, let's check high for frame rate. Everything else, let's go to multiplayer. A lot of things are not really available to us. Yeah, this is all we have to work with because of this setting down here. We only have medium. So, with that in mind, let's just get into a match. Uh, let's actually do a shader preload. Alright, so let's actually do the shader preload. And let's see if we can get better results out of this phone and its graphical quality. Alright, we're done with the shader preloading. And let's just get into a match. I mean, this is just medium setting, but this is the best we can do for this phone. All right, let's go it up. Hard point identified. Hard point locked down. Oh, come on. No, I can't get him. Okay, never mind. We just resort to running and gunning. Hard point is let's go. ours. Yay. So far, we're doing pretty all right as a team. I'm not doing well as a player right now. I'm not really contributing much to the team, Hard but this is doing Catch great for me. Okay, let's just get around the back. But so far, it plays pretty all right. Oh boy. There we go. The phone's doing great. Like, for what it's worth, it's actually performing pretty well. But I'm just not playing well. Oh my god. No worry. Oh, this is bad. But, that's it. I'm playing bad. The phone's performing well, though. It's very smooth. High FPS rate. Nothing. No fear drops whatsoever. Nothing yet. Nothing of the sort yet, but. Come on. There we go. Okay, so with Genshin and PUBG Mobile, obviously you have almost all of the options available for you. Almost all of them. Oh boy. But with Call of Duty, they kind of locked it up for you. So they're telling you that you can only play at this range, which is kind of helpful for some of you out there. But for the most part, I mean, it's kind of restricting because I think this one can push Call of Duty a little bit more compared to the other two games. Or even PUBG actually, yeah. This one can actually definitely push PUBG and Call of Duty a lot more in terms of its graphical settings and in quality. A little bit of melee action for you guys. Come on. Where are you at? I have no idea where they're at. Nice. Alright. We're doing okay. We're doing fine. I have a grenade over there. Shit. 
that's it for Call of Duty and I feel that the devs shouldn't have put the additional graphical settings behind the wall like they did with PUBG but it is what it is so let's do a final temperature check before we head out to Diablo Immortal and on the front we're running at about 37 it has actually gone down from when we left off with PUBG and yeah it has gone up quite a lot actually wow okay let's check the back 33.6 and the bottom half and then 34, 35, 37 at the top. Wow, okay, doing pretty well actually. So with that, let's move on to our last game, Diablo Immortal. All right, we flat the camera rest for a little bit. It's been overheating quite a lot. So right now, we are currently at 80% battery. We have run, we're going to be running through four games. After three games, we're down by 20%. So let's do a temperature check before we get into Diablo Immortal. 31 degrees, it has cooled down quite a bit. Also given that, you know, we've given time for our camera to cool down as well. 32 degrees, let's check the back. 31, 30 ish degrees and then, yeah. Looks pretty much uniform throughout the phone. So with that, let's enter Diablo Immortal. Right here. All right, there she is. Looking pretty good, I'd say so myself. So far, I have no idea what graphical settings we are on, so let's just enter the world and see what's up. We are in West March right now, so let's just check our settings real quick. Settings, graphics, and okay. Frame rate, 60, not available for this device. We're gonna be playing at 30 FPS throughout. Let's go Ultra. Not supported on the A14. High though, high is. All right, let's do some image sharpening, cause why not? And then quality section, high, 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 and everything else is set on high, just because we can. All right, so with that, everything should be set and ready to go. Now we have to see how it fares like in an area with a lot of mobs. So let's go and run a rift. Ah, oh, there we are, there we go. There we go. So far it's handling itself pretty well. There aren't any huge frame rate drops. As far as I can tell with all the effects going on. It's alright, doing okay. It's doing okay. Yeah, look at that. It's gonna hit it hard. Look at that abomination over there, that Boston hunk. Hulk, sorry. Alright, let's keep moving. Alright, I need to find a way. Oh, it's this way. Okay. There we go. Get the golem out again. Yeah, so when I activate a lot, a couple skills at the same time, it will actually drop a little bit in terms of the, in terms of the FPS. Alright, let's go down. Let's see. Especially with the Skyrim archers and everything else at the same time. But that's also kind of a given. But for what it's worth and its current specs that the phone has, it's actually doing pretty well. In my opinion at least. Not super pretty to look at, but it's all good. For now. I mean that I mean to be honest, like there hasn't been any significant frame rate drops whatsoever. And the last few mobs to kill before we get to the Rift Guardian. Just to find those guys with the purple orbs. And get it up. Alright, we got the Rift Guardian. Somewhere on the other side? Okay. Get the archers there real quick. Get to him before anything happens. Ulti. So yeah, with the ulti. Nah, it looks quiet lag last step, but whatever. Man, get out of the way. Position our archers here, and he's done. Oh boy. I mean, that's as smooth as we can go at the highest graphical settings. Again, we are playing at the highest graphical settings, so can't really complain too much. Especially with the current specs that the phone has, but other than that, I think it handled the Rift pretty well. 
Okay, so with the rift over, let's do some exploration in my favorite place, the actual cemetery. It is dropping quite a lot, especially other players around us. So, yes. Oh boy, I think that's pretty bad. Oh wow. Okay, again we are we are playing at the highest settings. Just really, really, just keep that in mind. If you guys played it on the recommended settings, you would have a much more smoother experience. I am doing this for science right now. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, great. You know, the one thing I forgot to do, temperature check after the rift. So let's just do that real quick. We are currently at 36 degrees. Honestly, it hasn't really gone up that much in terms of temperature. I'm quite surprised on this front. All right, 37 on the left side, which is probably where the chips are at the back, at the top half, obviously. So here, let's check the back. Running at 39, 40, but honestly, it doesn't feel like 39 or 40. So really props to Samsung for doing this. They've improved heat management on their phones quite a bit. All right, let's get back. Okay. Oh boy, look at that. Yeah, that is quite a bit. Anyway, we'll just be exploring a bit more before we conclude our Diablo Immortal run and go to our final conclusion of the video. All right, so with that, that will be the end of Diablo Immortal. Let's just walk around town as we talk about it. So Diablo Immortal, you know, obviously they've also put some, obviously this phone can't run any of the higher specs and I think for good reason also. I mean, in comparison to PUBG and the rest, but we'll talk about that later on. But for what it's worth, this phone can handle Diablo Immortal if it was set to the recommended settings. We are pushing it quite a bit by putting it on the high settings and everything as you can see the frame rate is dropping quite a fair bit just running through as much right now and yeah that's about it and let's do a final temperature check we've played for about a good 15 minutes and we are currently at 75% we started off at 100% so after four games we have gone down by 25% let's do a quick temperature check and 38 degrees it actually has gone down from the time we were in the Okay. All right, all right, let's do a temperature check real quick. Uh, currently at 38.2. It has gone down a little bit if I'm not wrong. Or oh, it has gone up a little bit. Uh, let's see, 33, 35 on this side. Let's check the back. And it's 40 degrees. Yeah, it has gone up. But like I said again, okay, no, it actually hasn't gone up. It has sustained, it has stayed at 40 degrees. Maybe it has gone up by a little bit, but honestly, I can't feel the difference. And let's see the bottom here, 34-ish, 35-ish, 33-ish, yeah. It's doing pretty well. I am quite impressed with Samsung's, I am quite impressed with Samsung's thermal management. And with that, let's just head on to the final conclusion. I am quite surprised by how the Samsung Galaxy A14 has handled itself. Despite being in the wallet-friendly lineup, it really has better thermal management than some flagship and gaming phones out there. Even though games have limited their graphical settings due to the phone's hardware, I feel that the A14 could push certain games more, such as Call of Duty and PUBG. Less so with Genshin, obviously. But for how much the phone is worth, on top of great thermal management and its battery managing itself well over the course of four intensive games in a row, the Galaxy A14 is a really enjoyable phone to game on when played at its recommended settings. No frills, just gaming. If you have any questions about the Samsung Galaxy A14, leave them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to get to them. Keep up to date with us by following all of our socials for the latest news right here. And if you like this video, consider hitting the like and subscribe button. It goes a long way. If you want to see more stuff from us, check this out.